So I am filming this video simultaneously with another one. Um, this is going to be a capacity test of this DC house 100 amp hour battery. Um, if you've not seen my other capacity test, uh, take a look. I'll link it somewhere. Um, it'll be either be at the top of the screen in the description or in the end credit uh, thing that pops up. So this is just another way of me testing the capacity of this. So I have this plugged into my inverter, which tells me how many watts it's drawing. So we're drawing 68 watts currently. I'm running my speaker, I'm running two laptops, and I am running a 24-inch uh, a computer screen, I believe it is. Yeah, 24-inch computer screen. So I'm going to take kind of an average of how many watts this is putting out. And then from there, I can see how many watt hours it takes out of this battery. It's 100 amp hours it's 100 or 1280 watt hours. Uh, we will see how long this lasts on here. And then that will give us basically how many watt hours. So the next video I have will be after this is dead and I will have calculated, or the next clip I should say will be after this is dead. And it will say how many watt hours this battery lasted for roughly. So the battery is dead now. Um, I've got everything plugged back into the wall to keep it running. Um, if this lasted, it was over a three day test that it took me to kill this battery running everything. Again, that's two laptops, my screen, I run a speaker for um, listening to music and then I also charge my phone and stuff. Um, so it lasted 21 hours and 45 minutes um, before that killed this battery. So the entire time, this was saying on average, we were pulling about 66 watts out of this battery. That comes out to, it's not an exact number, but that came out to roughly 1,419 or you could call it 1,420 watt hours of this battery. Um, I don't know how accurate this screen reads. I don't know how accurate my inverter is. But the battery is rated at 1,280 watt hours, and I pulled roughly 1,420 out of it. Um, this is almost a brand new battery. It only has two or three cycles through it. So, you know, this will probably be the most it will ever pull. But I'm quite impressed with that, that it, uh, it definitely pulled over what it was rated for at, at brand new. So I'm pleased with that. So again, I pulled roughly 1,420 watt hours out of it over a three-day period running running my laptops and it was averaging about 66 watts it was pulling. There was a couple times it spiked up higher and there was a few times it spiked in a little bit lower. So I'm pretty pleased with those results. 